back to my channel. Today I have my 2017 December Daily Kit to show you. I'm going to show you the new stuff that I got first um, because I'm going with a different color scheme than my past two years of doing this. And then I pulled some already some pieces from like my older collections and my stash that'll work well um, with what I'm trying to do here. Now for those of you that don't know, I am currently pregnant. I'm due at the end of November. And so my December Daily this year, I feel, is going to take on this, like, you know, new mom <laughs> adventure feel in addition to all of my um, December Daily stuff. So what that also means is that my house is already decorated, um, but, you know, I brought some new ornaments and stuff, so some of those stories I will still put in for December. Um, but I definitely wanted my tree up to have pictures with my newborn daughter and I just think it'll be a fun <laughs> approach to December Daily. You know, our first, you know, three or four weeks with her of uh, December because she's due around Thanksgiving um, will be really nice and sweet and to see her develop and even us develop as parents. <laughs> so I'm starting off with this gold Project Life uh, six by eight album. I purchased this at Hobby Lobby a while ago. Um, it was on clearance. I think I paid like seven dollars for it and I've been hoarding it. And now since I to have a December Daily to do, my other albums I have on stash, um, one could work. One's like a mint color, but I thought the gold would be super fun. Um, I know it's kind of glaring off my window there and my light above, <laughs> but it is um, a true gold color. It's not like a rose gold. And I already put some Project Life 6x8 um, pages in here. I have the full 6x8. I have the 4x4s, the two 4x6s. Um, so I did put a variety of uh, page layouts in here already because I will be doing some of my foundation pages if I don't go into labor this week. <laughs> we'll be getting done. So that's my album that I'm using. Um, I know I'm using a combination of crepe paper collections. So last year's Snow and Cocoa I love and this year's Fa La La. So those are the two main kits and basically the colors are like red obviously and pink and like a mint color. So it's softer than just doing the classic um, red, green, gold. I think I did like the, the buffalo plaid last year, the black and red and the craft. So that was fun too. So I thought with the pink and such and because she'll be around, um, it'll soften it up a little bit. So we have the Snow and Cocoa Ephemera Pack. I did the, pick this up at Paper Issues. So it is last year's, but it will work for my December Daily this year. Um, so you can see the colors that I'm working with. We also have the Fa La La Collection Ephemera Pack, which also has the gold chunky um, glitter pieces, which works well with the album as well. And so those are the pieces in that. So Snow and Cocoa and Fa La La. Then, to do some of my bigger layouts that I plan to do throughout the month, I have thickers. These are like pink metallic, like a soft butter pink. Butter pink, light pink. This one's called Hannah. And it just has sweet sentiments like family, matters, welcome, happy, heart, sweet home, journey, blessing. So those would work well with having a new baby around. As well as Amy Tangerine's The Lucky Ones. This one is gold, chunky on this side. Life is beautiful, lucky, and then white on this side. I just love like the family and heart eyes, sweet and fun. So cute sentiments to use on layouts with our new baby girl. Some, these are totally random. These are from the Target Dollar Spot, um, but I don't have numbers yet. So I thought this mint and red worked really well. Um, some of them that have like the hunter green, I may figure out how to do another like number 10 in my album and maybe 22 because I don't like the hunter green, but the other ones work well because it's mint and red. Um, and then the stars as well, the red and the silver. I love those. They're at the dollar spot. Um, this I randomly pulled. I hadn't used it yet, and it's like a waterfall thing from Heidi Swap. I thought if I could mat some of them, I just thought like a day that might be crazy um, with our daughter, this could be a fun little interactive page in the... Um, December Daily. It was called A Waterfall and it's by Heidi Swap and I think it was like her mixed media collection but 
like I said, I just kind of feel like <laughs> there may be one of those days in the beginning where, you know, everything is a complete fail. And this could be like a nice little story or maybe a complete success. Who knows? But I just pulled it. <laughs> These were also pulled because they're three by four um, Project Life cards. They are the water resistant ones. You can, oh, you could kind of see if I put into like with little sweet sentiment and I can kind of wash in pastel colors with the pink and stuff for some of them. These were a Kaiser Craft, so I just pulled those as well. I have embossing powders in a baby pink and an emerald green. I recently hauled these from Blitzy, so I'll be using those. And this worked out perfectly. I have this washi tape roll and it is mint and pink and gold. Like how perfect. Like I know it's not Christmas per se, but I'm keeping this out on my desk to use on my project on this December daily this year. I pulled, um, I also hauled this recently, it's the Small Talk But Occasions, and it's the black and white te tiny text, but there are sentiments for the holiday season, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and the New Year, so I'll be pulling some from here as well. And then I get into the papers. Now I got Fa La La, like I said, and Snow and Coco. These are all from Paper Issues. Oh, and I did buy... I'll just show you a few of the carousel collection. I didn't scrap Maggie Holmes' carousel. So I figure that these, though, that you can see, um, will just be layouts I do in the month of December for having a new baby girl in my life. So these will just be used for other tutorials. <laughs> so I'll put those aside and then I'll show you what I'm really using for the album so you can see the colors that I'm going for. So Fa La La, this is Very Merry has like a small little, almost like a burst um, in the mint, the pink, and the red. And then the opposite side is this red and pink, like chevron kind of thing going on. Fa la la, this is twinkle, almost like a plaid. It's like pink and pink and pink. And the opposite side is red with these white starbursts. Fa la la evergreen, it's a cream background and it has the mint trees pink and like almost like a, like a like a red but it's like a little bit less like a corally red and the opposite side is a pink on pink um design like a triangle design and then we get into snow and cocoa this is rosy cheeks just got half circles of a pattern white background mint again pink green a little bit of the dark green and some gray and the opposite side is a pink background with a darker pink little chevron action going on there. This one I love. Let's play Snow and Coco, all the little snowmen. You've probably seen this last year. I know I'm just showing you what I'm using. Um, this one's like a goldy yellow, butter yellow kind of color in the back. But this is what I wanted to play with. And when I re-saw it at Paper Issues, I really thought like that's the collection I'm using for having a newborn daughter in the month of December. <laughs> this pretty sweater material kind of looking pattern. It's called Fallen Snow. And then the back is like a, almost like a plaid, kind of a neutral. That would be just fine. These little birds in their homes. This one's called At Home Snow and Cocoa. And then the back is a fun plaid. I really like that one a lot too. Again, same colors and picking up that butter yellow too. I love this one. The trees, this one's called Joy. Snow and Cocoa, and this is craft with like beige speckled dots. Wonderland, I love this one. It's like maqua and mint together. Mm, maybe that one's going to be safer, a 12 by 12. And then the back is pink with some starbursts and some triangles. This one's called Burr, a nice black and white with the cold words. A nice polka dot, I love that too, pink on pink. This one's called Cozy. And the mint on aqua, no, aqua on mint. Little pattern there. And then I did get the cut apart page. This one's called Hot Cocoa. So really cute. And then aqua and mint plaid, like a gigum. Love it. Love it, love it. So you can see what I'm going for, right? So, 
newborn baby, we're going to have the cutesy color, softer colors for December Daily. And I do have both um, Snow and Coco is this one and Fa La La chipboard. This one has the cute little snowman and all these little birds. I live in Florida, so it really doesn't um, ever get cold here, but I like the sentiments of snow and snowflakes and the sweater and stuff, sweaters on the birds and scarves. Um, even though we won't be muddled, bundled up at all. Just saying. Sorry. I live in Florida. South Florida at that. <laughs> um, and the fall -la, la as well. I love the little Bambi and the, the snowman as well. I love this tree. That'll be used somewhere. You know, so I love all of the cute pieces. It's really, really fun collection. So that's these. Lastly, I have this. I've had it forever. Hobby Lobby. And I use it sporadically. But it's acetate pieces. But I thought the ones that are like the polka dot, you can see that, let me see. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Where's a piece of scrap paper? Mm. Okay. Here's a paper towel. Okay. Paper towel. So this one's like just a gold polka dot. I can use that as like a transition sheet somewhere. So there's polka dots and then there's like a, um, this one's like a chevron. You can see that one? And then the striped. So I thought, because I was loving Allie Edwards' um, acetate pieces that she was offering with her December Daily, but they sold out really quick. And I remembered I had this sh this pack, and I still had quite a few to use. So that will be brought out. I have pink and mint glitter, in case I do any stenciling with gel medium. I have these full body acrylic paints from Art Anthro Anthrology. Um, gold, pink, and mint. I'm going to leave them on my desk so that I can play. And then other things I've pulled, just snowflakes that are chipboard. Some felt ones as well. I mean, look how perfect. I have like mint snowflakes already on felt. These, I believe, were both from Michael's last year. So I pulled them out. I have a few um, wood veneer flares. This was from the dollar spot last year. It's um, white snowflake glitter. And then I have still a lot of Heidi Swap's Oh What Fun wood veneer pieces. So I'm going to hopefully maybe use these all up this year. Look at another deer. So that'll be fun. And a few stamp sets I still haven't used. This one's from Michael's. It has just like almost like trimming. So lights, snowflakes, ornaments, stockings, trees, um, leaves, and then the Santa haven't used it so I'm gonna keep it on my desk this whole month <laughs> and then this Mombi um, sticker sentiments too this is the white one I've used some of the sentiments but a lot of it is still good to go see like I have the all the numbers too so yeah I'm gonna put a dent in this one I've only used a few so I thought since it's white it'll be neutral and that looks like all of it. So I'm going to like clear off some of my little trays and things and have all of these goodies ready to go here so that hopefully, even though you probably can tell me different, because I really think I'm going to do December Daily. I've been good the last two years. If you've been with my channel, I have like first half of my album to show you and then the second half and I always do this. But maybe you'll be the judge for me and leave a comment below if I'm actually gonna be able to do December daily and have a newborn. <laughs> I am challenging myself and I feel like, you know, not to, say, not, to, not to minimize it, but like, you know, she's sleeping and then I feed her and then she sleeps and I feed her and I know I'm supposed to sleep when she sleeps, but on one of those times I can do spreads, right? <laughs> <laughs> or am I going to be just a tired mommy the whole month? Let me know. <laughs> Break it to me, the, the reality of, of having a newborn. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, that's my December Daily 2017 kit. Thank you for joining me, and I'll talk to everyone later. Bye. Bye.